Hello and welcome back. Uh, I uh, highly suggest that before you watch this video, you watch the other paper barbling Sumanagashi lesson video. Um, in that one, I am much more in depth and uh, thorough about my explanation. And in this one, I'm really just covering one topic, which is using acrylic paint instead of ink. So I have some acrylic paints here. And I found that not all of the colors work great, but out of the ones that I have here, this blue works very, very well. So I will use the blue right now. I will also use uh, a little bit of yellow. And some of the black, which I find this black doesn't come out nearly as dark as the blue does. And maybe for a little, I wanted initially the pink, but the red comes out more like pink. So I will water down my colors. And some of these colors, like the black, after I water it down, I'm going to uh, really saturate the surface of my water by, by flicking it into there. And in the video, it goes on so thin and so light, I'm sure you can't even see it, but it is there. So again, I'm just watering down my colors a tiny bit. So again, applying the paint to the surface by flicking it in. And because the acrylic turns out so light on the paper, I really want to get a lot in there. So again, take the yellow. I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. Just adding a little bit of water so that it flows off my brush when I flick it in. All right. And now I'm going to use that blue and do the Sumanagashi technique of making those concentric circles. And I have my soap right here to cut through the paint to make those rings. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. The blue turns out so far much darker than all of the other colors. And frequently I'm going to want to put new paint on my brush because I really want it to come out dark. I'll give it a, just the littlest swirl. All right, so I will make my print with my heavyweight sketchbook paper. Bowing it in the center. I want to, as gently as I can, touch it into the water and then just let it fall.
let it sit there for a second and soak that up. And then immediately when I pull it out, I'm gonna rinse it off. So I slide it out of the water. There's my print, and I'm just going to use a rag to blot it a little dry. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to make one more print from the acrylic paint. And again, I'm going to load up that surface a little bit by flicking a bunch of paint onto the surface really letting the uh, get nice and saturated on top. So maybe I could see the black. Hmm. What I have right here is a piece that's floating on top and it's not really dissipating. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Made a tiny little ring there. It turned out actually half blue and half pink because my paint got a little bit mixed. But it looks awesome. Just those, just those happy accidents. Is that? Oh my goodness. All right. And again, I'll um, I'll make a swirl through here with. Uh, with my skewer. I avoid my ring a little bit. Again, very gently, I wanna to touch down my paper in the center and just let it fall over the water. Let it soak in for a second, and then I will slide it out and rinse it off. And there you have it. Another print where we've substituted the acrylic paint for the Sumi ink. Success.